Hey guys, how's it going tonight? All right, just doing a little quick Father's Day card, and I'm afraid I'm going to run out of time or something might come up, so I want to be sure and have that done. So let me give you a hint um, <laughs> as to the theme. Uh, I can't do the, the sound, but um, that is supposed to be Tarzan. Um, I was really excited when I found a Tarzan stamp a while back, um, and he had, like, cheetah on his side, and, um, I'm just kind of gluing this up right now, by the way. Um, while we chat for a second, I'm not going to glue every part of it, but some of it. Anyway, my dad, um, loves to watch Tarzan, especially the old Tarzan, um, and... Um, I grew up watching it, actually, so, um, I wish I had a, a Jane on there, but, um, I don't, so, but anyway, um, that's about all I have room for, I think, anyway, I've been cutting all kinds of leaves out, and, um, all right, so that'll be good on the glue, I believe. So, I just used, ooh, how am I going to do this without getting all gluey? Whoa. I'm not. That's that's what it's going to be. Uh, let me just flip this over. That's going to be complete yuck. Probably already is. All right. So I'm just using an old olive um, cardstock base by Stampin' Up. I'm going to try very hard. Ugh, I hate glue. Um, I think I'm going to start using that spray adhesive. I've got some of that somewhere for this kind of stuff. I think that would be a good idea. All right, let me get, ugh, it's so gross. Um, let me get just a sheet of this here. I'll do, I'll use this whole thing. Just to give it a good press down. All right, so let's go ahead. That looks relatively straight, I think. With this wet glue, you have a little bit of drying time anyway, so it's all good. I feel super behind on my cards because, um, like I said before, I've been dealing with some stuff, and um, but I've also been organizing, and sometimes I clean and organize when I'm upset, annoyed, mad, whatever. And um, so, yeah. Anyway, all right, let's see. Yeah, not that one. Um, gonna find a nice skin color. Looks kind of dirty looking, doesn't it? Okay, um, so here is the Tarzan stamp and uh, with Cheetah by his side. So I'm just gonna give him an overall skin color real quick of this. And that is just going to hopefully go very fast. Um, the same. I don't even know. It doesn't matter. Anyway, so it's almost Father's Day. I love that man. I swear. Love him with all my heart. Um, but anyway, I hope he likes this. It'll be something kind of different. Um, usually I just do, you know, typical Father's Day stuff. And so this will be kind of a, a cool little surprise, I hope. Um, the stamp is by Carmen's Veranda, who is now owned by Lost Coast Designs. I feel like my marker's drying up. Um, all right, that should work, I believe. I'm going to give him just a little bit different of a face, I guess. And his little hands, they're probably actually more brown, but yeah, they're a little more flesh toned today. Um, it's not going to be different enough. Let's try this one. And excuse all my scratches and marks, my doggy. Um, is that going to be, I think you'll be able to tell a difference between his hair and then, I don't know, not much. But I will. Okay, um. So let's go ahead. Oh. 
Let's get the monkey this color just for a little bit of contrast. I feel like he's a little too something there. So we'll go over him just a little bit more too. And those spots that might not have covered. Um, okay. Yeah, I believe so. All right, so this will be his little loincloth, I guess. Am I in frame? I think I am. Um, anyway, so what are you guys doing for Father's Day if you are celebrating this year? Um, I'm probably going to take my father out to eat. Well, first I'll go to church with him that morning and not quite sure about church that evening. Um, he goes to two, so not quite sure if I'm going to pull off the second one, but um, we'll probably go out to eat that day. I don't know why that won't cover very well. It's like it's spotty or something. Okay, so he's done. Um, I also cut out, um, well, I'll show you guys. I cut out like a, a million different things. <laughs> Uh, <coughs> and I'll go ahead and show you what I was using too. I used this for the background dye. This is from Spellbinders. Um, and I'm using uh, this, which one was it? No, maybe I didn't use anything from there. I used this palm tree. I'm going to use this monkey. And then um, these two palm type leaves. Might use that. And then I did use that. I'm not sure if I want to do the palm tree blank or or not. So we will see. All right. So I don't know if this is dry enough yet. Kind of yuck. Um, all right. So pretty sure. I'm gonna go. I want to use this color, but I feel like it might be too bright. So I don't know. I want to use a couple of different type of leaves. I don't know. I just want some texture to it. I know I want them in the corner. I just don't exactly know where. But I've cut out a zillion of these because I don't really quite know what I want yet. Um, so I have a in mind what I think will look good but sometimes you know in reality that kind of quickly goes astray <laughs> so all right we'll just mix that glue in there try not to blah, get all over us um, anyway my little dog Rosie has scratched me all up she we've got to do something about her her one fingernail there on her paw um, if that trimmed or filed or something, she, uh, she's pretty brutal with it <laughs> and she means to have her attention. So she's, um, not taking no for an answer on any of that. And like when I meet her on the steps, I go like this and she like jumps right here and her paws always land here. So they're very scratched up. But, um, uh, but if you don't, like, let her have a little doggy kiss and whatever, and a little bit of attention. As the second you walk in, there will be no peace. Um, she will go crazy. So, you must do that. And then she is perfectly calm. <laughs> so, she she is the baby, and we pretty well let her have her way, I guess. So, uh, um, but anyway, I'm sure I will live. Okay, so. So, <coughs> I feel like I need, oh, I still want to use this color. I feel like I need to cover this up a little bit. Maybe I need to pop dot that. I'm just going to lay that gently there. I think I am going to maybe put some little pop dot stuff behind it here. Um, we'll kind of see how that goes. So, here is my dilemma. I have this and this. What I'm thinking about doing now that I look at it is layering it with a little pop dot there. And I guess I should take that piece out. Um, I don't know why 
know what this it's peeling I hate when it peels off the back because then it doesn't have that strong layer like um, and there's another piece good gracious well, maybe it's not maybe yes I don't know anyway so I stamped this one it was a little bit crooked but I cut it out here is the plain one but I feel like this adds more dimension or something um, I found this big old uh, this is what the stamp looks like just just on its own there there's some other ones um, I found this big cheetah paper I don't know if it's really cheetah it might be I guess it's just really leopard print um, I need some tape uh, I cannot focus guys I'm sorry <laughs> Um, all right, almost enough. A little bit more. Then it'll be too much. All right. Um, anyway, so just some kind of animal print. I don't think my dad's really going to know the difference. It just kind of gives it some texture. So if he does, oh well. Um, all right. So just kind of a little ribbon kind of thing just something to break it up a little bit it's like a paper ribbon I guess all right hmm. <coughs> all right um <laughs> So I know I want the vines just to be all green that he's swinging on. Um, anyway, so probably take my dad out to eat, and um, or we can do it another day if he you know is too tired or whatever. Because sometimes that's a lot in one day. So I'll just kind of let him pick. And I picked him up an Arby's card actually as a little surprise for part of his gift. Um, he always sees the Arby's. We're not we're not really super close to one, but um, uh, he always sees them on TV and talks about trying some of those new sandwiches. So, um, all right, did I get it all? I think I got it all there. Um, so, and then I got him some little candies and things that he likes. And all right, for fur 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 it's not very pretty is it but okay anyway um it's got some little candies and things and uh I always I try to get him a shirt every time and I, I always mess it up to be honest it like it never fits and it'll be a fabulous shirt, but it just, it'll be a little too tight or a little too big or a little too something. And it's the same exact size he wears. And I don't know. So I'm just going to let him pick himself out something and I will buy it. And I did get him some um, aftershave that he wanted. So that's on the way. Actually, I sort of didn't get that. I mean, I'm paying for it, but I had to have my aunt order it through Amazon because for some odd reason, Amazon has messed up my address and it's like it's not recognizing it or something even though i mean that's where i get everything shipped i don't get it but oh well par for the course this week um so um this is more of a, a monkey than an ape but you know you, you could see that in the jungle they did have little bananas in the thing uh in the set i don't know about that I thought it'd be kind of cute. So he needs to be swinging from either over here or right there. Hmm. So what do you guys think about layering this? No. Let's cut. Cut 
some little strips here. Let's see. Let's see kind of what we can do. Oh God, these are those ones I could never get apart. Well, I shouldn't use those. Oh well. Uh, too late now. Too late now. Um. Anyway. So what are you guys up to these days? I am going out with the boyfriend tomorrow, run some errands, take the cat to the vet, um, his cat, not mine, mine's okay right now, thank goodness, um, but, uh, his cat is, I think she's 15 this year, so, she's getting older, unfortunately, starting to run into some problems, but, I know that's to be expected, but still always hard. But she's having some thyroid issues, and that's not going to work. So, uh, all right, so let's see. Oh my god, oh my god. I did it wrong. I should have done it on the other side. Oh, well, whatever. It's going to be taped down that way now. So, okay. We're going to glue this side and peel that side off. That's what we're going to do. Um, so, like I said, I've been doing a lot of organizing. Uh, ran out of those white sheets I need. Like the and that you store like clean mounted stuff on and things like that. So I did order some of those. So hopefully they will be here. Hopefully by Friday. We'll see. Hoping. Because you know how you get in the middle of organizing and you just, just want to do it and get it done. Hmm. Alright, probably should have glued him down first. You always think of this stuff after. Alright, he's just, I'm just going to make him flat. I, mean, I was going to pop him up, but I don't think I'm going to now. He's just going to be glued down nicely, hopefully. Just kind of tucked under there like he's swinging in the jungle. Alright, let me wipe my hands off a little bit. So, I want to ask you guys one more thing real quick here. Um, have you all tried chalk paint? Um, with organizing, I want to... Um, I'm never going to have one of those beautiful white rooms. Um, but my shelving is now all white. So, I really do like that. And I just, I don't know, I just love the look of the white. Um... But I have two large, I think they're about six foot brown tables. And I ask about glass at Lowe's, which they only sell the three foot pieces. And even they were expensive. Uh, so I'm not going to do that. But I could, you know, go to like a glass place, I guess. Um, but I really, I don't want to pay that much. Um, Alright, careful. Careful, focus, focus, okay. Beautiful. Oh, yes. I like it. I like it. I like it. Forgot about him. Okay, so what are we going to do with him? He's going to be flat. Um, I think. Uh, anyway, so I came up with the idea to paint the tables kind of DIY style and um, paint them with like a white chalk paint. And I've heard there's some kind of wax. Um that you put on like as a coating I guess afterwards and uh, I wonder if you guys have ever tried that and then I don't know because like um, I'll 
use sprays and alcohol inks and I've kind of destroyed this table to be honest anyway but um okay so I am going to try if it's not too wet to do these petals a little bit So which side? That's the right side. This is not my regular sticky stuff and I'm not liking it. Just something I had in the drawer. I found a ton of stuff though cleaning out. Um, I may do a de-stash coming up too because I just can't keep everything. There's just no way. <laughs> and sometimes it's so weird how you organize and then like I don't know, it feels almost like you lose space somehow. It's crazy. But um, but I do want to get rid of some things that I'm not using anymore. And uh, see where that goes. That's not even sticky. Did I not get it off? Okay, not using this anymore. Ugh. I do not like this stuff. Going back to my scotch. So see, look, that one did it too. I'm not getting the right layer there. That one was okay. Have to go back to that one. All right, anyway, so let me know if you have tried the, uh, oh my goodness gracious. Um, let me know if you've tried the chalk paint on anything. I think it looks awesome, like on furniture and things that I've noticed. And, uh, but I don't know about, like, this kind of things that you're going to work on, I guess, a lot is what I'm saying. So, all right. Let's just add that there. Well, that looks horrible right there, but, <laughs> oh, well, not exactly what I pictured. Um, but it's not too bad. Let me see what time I'm at here. Oh, goodness. Well, already over 15, so whatever. Uh, well, since I'm over that, let's just go ahead and put some Wink of Stella on there. Let's see. We'll do these coconuts here. Color those up a little bit. We'll definitely glitter up our monkey. kind of want to add some other elements or maybe some uh, like little sparkly things or I don't know something well might as well just <laughs> once you get started on this I'm telling you you end up doing doing it all so let's just go over a few of the leaves there do 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 I'm telling you, once you start, you want to glitter up everything. It's almost like then it doesn't look right without glitter. So it's kind of. Plus, these, I almost think these need a little bit of um, brown or like distress something on there just for a little. I think it might be too much green. I may just start over and forget this whole video. I don't know. Yeah, I'll leave it up. I'll show you guys this version, and if I do another version, I'll just show you that, too. How's that? It's not horrible. It's just not... It's not great. Okay. Nope. I don't know if it's just because it's like wet or what, but now I feel like I need to cover those spots. Okay, so let's just give him sparkly loincloth or something there. I feel like something on him needs to sparkle. Maybe his eyes. All right. Okay, so what do you guys think it needs now? I don't really have anything else around here right this second. But it needs something. It's going to say, I don't know, um, I 
can't go with like wild about you or something like that because that sounds more like a boyfriend or whatever. Um, but I'm gonna, I would have put some kind of Father's Day thing on the inside because I don't really have room here on the outside. I could maybe almost right there, but I'm not sure. Um, hmm. to make sure he's down very, very well. And you can't really tell that's anything to do with cheetah spots, can you? Or leopard. I think it's more leopard. Um, I don't know. I cut out some of these. There's still those colorful little flowers, but so yeah, it's just too much. It's so maybe like a golden flower or something, or hmm. I'm afraid to do too much. <laughs> You can't take it back then. I don't know. So I may practice, I mean, experiment, whatever, with some little dots of something here and there. Uh, we'll see how it goes. But for now, I think I'm just going to leave it like that tonight, and I will think on it. And, but anyway, so that is the little monkey guy. And, that, and that, and that. And, all right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me. And more cards to come soon. <laughs> Bye.